Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms, the Furious Wild DLC, the 194 start date as Liu Bei. So, <clears throat> our situation is as this. We have Yuan Tan, who is not hostile, but he doesn't really like us, to our north. He is currently at war with our good friend here, Kong Rong. Um, now, Kong Rong has a decent army here, but we know that Kong Rong... And by decent, I, I do mean decent for early game. But we know that Kong Rong is a dribbler. And he's not going to be able to handle this for very long. And he has... He actually starts with a champion. But for reasons known to himself, he's decided, sod the champion. I'm going to throw in a crap strategist into this army. So he has two relatively mediocre people in himself and her. And he has Wang Xiu, who is... Eh... So we know that he's going to get beaten eventually, and when he does, he's going to collapse. The fact he survived this long, I still find amazing. Um, however, he has. We have beaten uh, Zhang Ba. Now, um, Zhang Ba was an option to hire, but I reckon he's been hired by someone else by now. Yes, he has. At the time, I had money to spend elsewhere, so uh, I didn't go for it. There are other people here who I could potentially have a look at, but I'm just not all that interested in any of these guys, really. Uh, yeah, there's no one here that I particularly want. Uh, maybe another Vanguard um, to go alongside Zhang Fei, because I only have Zhang Fei. But anyway, I am not overly fussed with any of them. But we, we took this area out. Had I had the money at the time to hire Zhang Bao, I would have done. However, we didn't. But what we did get was Wei Yan instead. Like, literally that turn Wei Yan came in. So I'm not overly worried, because Wei Yan is a lot better in-game, because Zhang Bao is disloyal. Um, we had a really terrible food situation, so we were spending all the money we were making on building up our farming supplies, and basically I was fleecing anyone and everyone for cash. Um, which included uh, saying that Yuan Shu will be our, uh, will support his claim, uh, his legitimacy, um, which sort of saved us from having a conflict with him. Now, we did get the event, which has absolutely knackered our uh, positive relationship down to a plus five, but it's still positive, and he's not going to invade us in the near future, hopefully. Um, we had Zhang Zhang here, now she actually wanted to do some deals with us, but I felt that it was a simpler thing just to destroy her. In destroying her, um, she, she injured Liu Bei. Um, it, it took me by surprise in the battle, but Liu Bei isn't much of a fighter, to be honest, uh, in this game. Um, which I think is probably underselling him a little bit. He was quite tasty. In this game, Tao Tao is just, in every way, shape and form, a better commander than any other commander legendary or not in the game um but Liu Bei is just not very good at fighting even though he has quite good weapons um so he was taken out quite quickly Guan Yu was also hit really hard where Yan was hit really hard the only person who wasn't unsurprisingly was Zhao Yun um because Zhao Yun is incredible uh Wei Yan I have to say the only reason why he was is because he's rank two uh if Wei Yan had been like rank four or rank five I forgot what Zhang Zhang's uh, rank was he would have taken her um, because they're similar. That would have been a tight fight. Um, he's an extremely good duelist. And she didn't want to duel any of my top guys either, though we did manage to take out one of her weaker people in a duel. Anyway, this is our situation. We have a rebellion to quell. Um, these all kicked off because of food, but now we can see that our uh, ranking, our rating with our peasants is getting better and better. The question is... Who do we attack and how do we go about attacking them? We have Wu Jing and Zhe Rong. Now, they both love me. Um, I'm tempted to form some sort of coalition with these guys down here because um, when I say love me, they don't love me that much. But they'll be a little bit more reliable than Kong Rong. Um, but, you know, I will think about it. What I definitely know I want to do is shore up some defenses up here to push into Yuan Tan's land because I think we're going to have to take him out. And what I also want to do is bring about Zhang Fei and build him an army to guard one area, two armies to go up north, one army to go down south, that type of thing. Right, with that done, um, I have this here because I don't have Grand Excellency and I don't have a faction here. I will get a Grand Excellency eventually. I'm just not overly excited to do it right now. It's possible it's going to be Sun Qian uh, because he really wants uh, in on the party. Um, I know people like Lady Mi and Zhao Yun and everyone would, would have some uh, benefits going there because they're rank 4, but frankly it's not expensive. Um, 
it's not necessary for them because they're super loyal. So I can sort of abuse their loyalty by not giving them the promotions they really deserve. Right, let's move on. Now our food supply is going to go up, which means the Guan Yu's army and Wei Yan's army are actually going to have supplies. Uh, subservient, arsehole. Th this is actually historically true. Yuan Shu did want uh, Liu Bei to be uh, subservient to him, wanted him to become a vassal, and he refused, and that's what caused the fighting. Of course, by that stage, Lu Bu was in amongst uh, Liu Bei's lands, so, you know, there were other things at play that created problems. Um, okay, if you want to commit suicide, you can commit suicide. Not my problem. Excellent job. Uh, we will take the money and the unity. Okay. Uh, Sun Tzu has declared war on Yan Baihu. Shui has requested war. Shamoku. Jue. Liu Yu. A daughter. I swear, our son and our daughter are both called that. Wei Yan wins his wager. Wei Yan, prone as he is to disagreement, is arguing with another general over who is to lead the coming attack. Fortunately, the attack is two pronged. You assign each general to a force, declaring the winner of the argument to be whoever sees victory first. Each uh, early that morning, wreathed in mist, Wei Yan charges out and sees victory before the noon sun is high. That's the story from romance. There's very little historical evidence of that happening. Um, um, and I believe that was also something that a trick that Zhuge Liang actually played uh, on uh, the generals. But hey, let's not worry about that. Oh, we have Wei Huang. Do we want Wei Huang? Just for... I don't really like champions. You're temperamental. No. No, you don't have anything that inspires confidence. All right, fine. Um... You are going to shift down to Xiapi. Uh, you are going to head up north to Puyang. Um, I really do rather want to take Guan Yu out and have him lead another army. Um, hold on, let's... can have more armies, so that's not a problem. I can bring about Zhang Fei quite easily. I don't necessarily want Guan Yu and Zhang Fei in the same army. I don't have enough strategists, however. I only have Sun Chen, and he is off doing stuff for me. Yeah, decisions, decisions. Uh, anyway, Lang Ya, what do you want? You want a wall increase. Well, that's not going to happen there, but it may happen in Xia Pi, though. Shap, he can definitely get some walls. Donghai. Commercial income. Uh, we can wait a bit for that. But what I am going to do in Dongping is say, Zhang Fei, out you come. Yeah. Get in here. Excellent job. This, however, we need to change. Unfortunately, we can't do it right now. But uh, it's, it's just not on. They're not good enough. We'll keep the Saber Militia around. But... Uh, Demolish will replace with some cavalry. Um, like I said, I'm going to ditch Guan Yu from this army and have him run his own army. Liu Bei and Zhao Yun run an army. Zhao Yun isn't a bad uh, army commander because he gives some morale bo uh, bonuses, but it's probably not the best use of his time. Um, I think you can have this for the short time. I think that will work. Uh, no, we don't have anything else. All of these are being equipped anyway. So that's good. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm going to drop him out when I have the people. Do they actually have anyone? Not that I have any money. I don't want Bian Ran. He's not that good. Chu Gong. He's not great either. They just don't have anyone I want, which is a crying shame. Let us uh, move on. Move on a tiny bit. So my interest no we won't no we won't you can sod off that's basically vassalage um i mean you got a little bit more freedom than vassalage i think but it's it's not a great deal especially when like i can look after myself and he's bloody miles away um there is tata okay 
people person. Your trials and tribulations with the people have won you their love. Their care, your care and dedication to helping everyone you meet are clear and obvious to all. The people who follow you are gladdened to be in your presence, and the warriors who fight for you do so with ever more earnest zeal. Yep. A series gain, Noble's Leather. More of this. A eh? Assignments, uh, people person. I don't think we have anyone who can really use that Noble's Leather who I would want to use that Noble's Leather. Um, I know some of the uh, Sentinels can possibly use it, but... Uh, Will not really help. Income from industry isn't great. Construction costs from mines is fine. Income from commerce is good. Which one of these shifts me up? It's straight up here, right? There we go. Let's go. Straight up. Going up for my Sabre infantry. I know Liu Bei gets all these things for militia, but frankly, militia are not that good. Um, and so it's only useful in the early game. What I am going to do, though, whilst we have the time, is you guys can naff off. I'm going to bring in some cavalry into this force. Um, over here. He has... I'm going to give him some Sabre Infantry eventually. You've got some archers. You can probably keep the archers when you go independent for a little bit. You, I want to have two more lots of cavalry. I probably... Actually want to swap these for spears. Because then I won't have any spears in this force. And the Sabre won't be necessary. And I definitely don't want the E-Archers, but I can't swap them out right at this moment. Um, that means the only thing we can do here... Do you have Mounted Saber Militia? Ah, oh, they're very expensive. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll keep it with that for now. This army doesn't need to be completely filled. Down here. You boys, jump into Shapi. Uh, recruit. Yes, you can definitely have... Uh, one one more um, and you I think can definitely have one more there we go just going to fill these armies out slowly her militia are going to switch uh, to saber infantry when I get the opportunity to have them too let's have a quick look at the old diplomacy whilst everything is peaceful and everything's looking good Shirley I've forgotten where Shirley is Zhangji Zhangyang Zhang Yan here negotiate deal I'm happy with this because we may all end up being a in a supporting war military access Wu Jing wants a lot for this military access negotiate deal uh, unify Ooh. he's not overly against it actually Alliance, former coalition, 8.6. Doesn't have a huge amount of food. He doesn't have a huge amount of anything, really. Um, who are you at war with? You're at war with Yang Baihu, Li Jie, Zhang Yang, Zhang Ji. Trading with Yuan Shu. That should shore up this area just a tiny bit. Plus three. That'll give me a little bit. We'll so do a coalition with Wu Jing. Um... Military access, Tulsa, no, Jiang, no, Yao, no, we don't want any of that stuff. Post unification, nobody's going to want that, right? Uh, okay, then we want to go to Zerong. Where is Zerong? Here you are. Alliances, invite to join. You're against it. Interesting. Why are you so against this idea? We're trading with you. We've got lots of stuff going. Okay, I do have some stuff potentially to trade if it needs to come to it. But for now, I don't think we need to worry. Um, Could I... What is this place? This is farmland. Farmland will be useful. That will be extremely useful. It's all part of Guangling. Give me a foothold in Guangling 2. Uh, Wu Jing, of course, has a chunk of it. Eh. No, we're okay. We're okay for now. Just extra money coming in um, over time is going to be handy. And then I do need to pick who I'm going to hit. 
Yuanshu's armies are moving away quite nicely, but if I go in and hit hard, it's going to upset Wu Jing. Also, we've got relatively. I'd accept that, but Liu Biao has rejected. Okay. Um. Yeah, this will allow us to focus on the north. Because we don't have any real threats here. Yuan Shao is fighting war after war after war. Brilliant. I think Tal Sao's just played a blinder there. Who do we have here? Do we have anyone I can use? Ah, how mong. Treacherous rogue. That's what I like to hear. How mong. You've been with Lu Bu. You've been with Xie. Okay. Lao Jan. You've just been with the Han Empire. Cunning. Impeccable. Brave. Murderer. I mean, you sound magnificent. Exactly the type of person we're looking for. Welcome to the job. Absolutely brilliant. We have... Uh, a proper monster coming to join us. He can join with Guan Yu when we split Guan Yu off. Now what we want to do is shift you here. You, my man, you're going to hold here for a little bit longer and we're going to jump on, le, uh, on Lan. Um, it's a shame we don't have any strategists. We are going to need to get Sun Chen uh, out to join, unfortunately. Um, because he's crap. He's a truly shocking battlefield uh, commander. But hey, needs must. Don't have any weapons. Don't have any armor. You do have this. None of it's any use to you. And uh, none of that's any use to you. Basically, you're on your own, my man. But you will be useful. Fifty-eight. An eavesdropper. 58. Piss off. 58. That's pathetic. I mean, that's almost offensive. That's such a small amount. I mean, I know the eavesdropper's not great, but I could get like one, like a plus one or a plus 1.2 or something. You were I mean, you, you, you do your thing, man. You keep inviting people. Anyone can join. We're about to uh, pick a fight, so anyone can join. Zhang Yang has joined that coalition. Hong Zhu has requested war. I mean, Zhang Yang. Okay. Uh, coalition, coalition. Wow. Here we go. Brave versus cowardly. As you are inspecting the defences, you are disrupted by an argument between two officers. You're a coward unlike any other, cries the first. I saw you fleeting like a lamb. I saw you. I was not, states the second. And even so, it's better to survive a coward than die a meathead and a fool. They do not seem to even notice you. Brave. Brave, definitely. Taoshan can do one. Uh, no room for cowardice in our armies. Damn right. Okay. Uh, we have another spot now. We could give this to Sun Qian. He's not the best, though he is better than a lot of them. Here, Sun Qian, you can take over one. Uh, yeah, Dong. Dong's okay. You can have Dong. That will work. Uh, I don't want any of them. Don't want any of them. I want a strategist. Let's have a look here. I have not checked this out yet. Do we have any uh, central turncoats? We do. Zibu and Wu Liang. They are nowhere near me. Um, I mean, they are really near me, actually. They're the sons of or brothers of. Uh, but hey, who gives a toss? We don't need them. Um, I know. Oh, you guys don't like each other. It's a shame. It's a real shame. We invite Kong Rong into this, and that would have worked really nicely. Surely, I just don't know where you are, so I don't care that much. Here, we can flog this for a little bit of money. 
Uh, request regular payments. There we go. I'm a good friend to everyone. Whilst I just cement my position. There, 158 a turn for that. And then I'm going to jump on Yuan Tan very, very soon. This... Commerce and industry, we just... Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Um... Okay, you guys, you got one more turn before you're useful. You're already in position. The two of you are going to jump onto Dongping Ling. Um, and then we're going to get ready to cross over into Pinyuan. Uh, no, we'll finish off Luan, and then we'll go to Pinyuan. Okay, and we'll see if we can take him out very, very quickly. Down here, forces are mustering. We're still trying to save money so we can fill this force out. Um, but we want to take that trade post. So that is where we are heading to in Eternal Two's time. Uh, thank you for your patience whilst we just built up. Uh, Tsao hello. You're welcome to come through my lands, provided you're attacking your own shop. Go away, I'm about to attack you. I don't expect too much. <laughs> I expect your lands. Yuan Shao is a bit of an irritation in this game, of course, because of his vassalizing everyone and everything. Um, he also has the Emperor right now. It does make things slightly more interesting. But uh, he's about to lose one of his vassals. Boas declared war on Sun Tzu. That's just dumb. He is destroyed. Okay, war... War. Trouble brewing. Meet you on Wei Yan. <laughs> Unsurprising. The least you can do for your men is to ensure they <laughs> they can work and fight well together. There are those, however, that simply cannot abide one another's presence. Two such warriors are so embittered they cannot stand to look at each other. This may become a problem if left unchecked. Um, Wei Yan, just kick his face in. You're in charge of that army. Here we go. Uh, let's do Jian Yong first. Jian Yong, you are... I wasn't going to make you my fighter. Um, we're going to do upgrade this. Uh, I've got nothing to add there. Um, what I am going to do, though, is bring me in. Uh, Zhang Wen. Yu Yong. Zhang Wen, you're a little bit old. A little bit old. You're a little bit younger. Guyong, you're in the Han Empire. You're cowardly, you're arrogant, and you're greedy. You are fucking atrocious. You've been with Kong Rong. Ambitious. I mean, neither of you are great. I'm going to take the coward. <clears throat> All right. We've brought in the coward. That means we can start to split the armies very, very soon. Uh, you, my man, are going to shift here. You are in position to attack when the time comes. It's going to be magnificent. Right, you down here, everything is looking good. Next turn, we launch our attack. Apparently, Taz, I just wanted to see the river. Guess that's all right. <laughs> you bought military access just to see the river. Um. So this is Zhang Yang. He's part of the coalition with Gongsun Zan. So if we hit Yuan Tan, our western flank is going to be secure. Very nice. And Fong has joined the coalition. Mi Shu. Interesting. A joyous occasion. A daughter has been born. New blood keeps the line strong, but may also give rise to jealousy if other people... Blah, blah, blah. Administrator of Donghai. Uh, uh, you really want to be shifting across. Um, I'm getting some of this, but it's... Limited use right now. There you go. Characterance gain. Magnificent. Right. In this army, we will recruit... Where is our boy? Here he is. Guyon. Can you come? Welcome to the party, my friend. Um, now. Yes, you haters. Let's do this. Uh, we need to build a siege tower, continue siege. And in you come, Jiang Fei and friends. You can sit there. Now, tiny bit of diplomacy. 
Um, what do I want? I want this one. I want faction grouping. Now, he's a war with so many people, which is absolutely fine. Jing, you love me. No alliance. Negotiate. Nope, not interested. Shame. Uh, Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu. Here we go. Sun Tzu is an option because Sun Tzu and Wu Jing are relatives. Um, so that will help no end. And it's just Tzu wrong. I would like to bring Tzu wrong in just because it guarantees peace in this area, but everyone's against it. Everyone in the world is against it. It's fine. No problem. No problem at all. But this might keep Sun Tzu under control because he is otherwise a complete and utter bastard to deal with in this game. Right. Next turn, the siege. It's going to be good. Dong Ping Ling. Um, I don't think they're going to have that much in the way of defense. Should be a standard garrison. Kong Rong has another strategist. He just attracts strategists. Uh... I'd like them. Frankly, I'd like Kong Rong. Okay, war. Coalition. Good. Administration complete. Support from peasantry. Corrupt official. Yes, accept. Accept the offer. Of course, because this area was uh, part of an area where uh, Liu Bei fought a little bit uh, over time so he could well historically know some people in the area even if he doesn't have you know, like a good relationship with them uh Ban Mu, tell me about yourself vain beautiful uncomplicated trickster ruthlessness poison arrows eh maybe now we're pumping straight towards uh, our sabers so some of this stuff may be of absolutely zero use to us whatsoever but i want my sabers this is uh, this is Liu Bei at war um are you unhappy would you like a title there you go shush right this is it let's get into this let's smash him up let's fight this Otherwise, we're not going to have a battle this uh, episode. I'll see you in the fight. Okay. Raining. Uh, we have one of these. Magnificent. I do like fighting when they have these. Where are reinforcements coming from? They're coming from over there. Okay. Well, they'll have to do it on the, their own, I'm afraid. Turn that off. We've got no dueling to happen. You boys. Yeah, you can take that. You can take that. Run in from here. Uh, one, two, three, four. You chaps can be here. Axes behind. You guys behind. One, two, three. You can be here. You, you, you. Here. Cav and Cav. Can wait in the trees over here start go uh, a little bit closer um go run run axes run you guys can advance you guys can advance over there Zhang Fei and pals how are we doing Zhang Fei ride ride like the wind um, yeah, ride like the wind over here, take the tower, come across, open the gate, it's going to be fun. We can get Guyong to do it too. Come on, Guyong. Be faster with two of you. <clears throat> Quickly now. Zhang Fei. Um, Zhang Fei's spear, by the way, just out of note. The spears, uh, like the special weapons that Guanfei, uh, Guanfei, Guanyu, Zhangfei, and Liu Bei all have, are not necessarily even remotely historically accurate. Uh, like Zhangfei's spear, how it's described in, like, not necessarily contemporary text, but sort of closer to the actual date, 
Uh, it does say it's like this uh, iron spine serpent uh, spear and all the rest. But all that means is it's long and thin. It doesn't mean it has the wavy head to it. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it likely would have been a good few meters long, like four meters long. Because, you know, the area he came from, the spears they used, especially cavalry spears, and he was noted for being on a horse. Um, it probably was an extremely long spear. Was Guan Yu's Guan Dao um, is based on a later uh, type of... Um, a later type of, of, of was it Udao Pudao Pudao? I can't remember exactly how to pronounce it. Uh, which hadn't been invented at that time. Um, and so his thing was probably a lot shorter. It was more probably like the Dadaos that uh, bodyguards used at the time, which was sort of like a two handed uh, Dao. Um, kind of, I guess, similar ish to a Naginata, broadly. Though, you know, not, not obviously exactly the same. Um, so it was more like that. Uh, right, down you come. Go take this ground. You get stuck in over here. We need to get these gates open. Um, Yubei, of course, could well have had dual gen, like the, the dual swords. He could well have had those. Because, like, the Chu gen, for example, was uh, decently small. So that you could effectively use it, uh, one in each hand, um, for dual wielding. That's sort of uh, one of the martial arts that was uh, used uh, with it. Actually, no, you guys don't need that. You guys can shift down here. You boys, you're going to come up to... Come on, axes. Spears coming over. They're going to take their time with it. Right. Come on, over here. How are you doing? You're almost there, fantastic. You, get stuck in. You, I need you down here. I know that sort of is the wrong people to do that for each one, but hey, it's fine. One, two, up we go. One, two, up we go. Go, 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 go. Come on, fight your way through if you have to. Let's go. And then over here, how are we doing? Spear guards are getting rained on, but that's fine. You guys push in here. You guys, you are starting to make your way up. You guys are starting to make your way up. Axes, you are starting to push in. Spear and spear. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Up you come. We'll save the heavies to the last minute. Come on, over the wall we go. You boys... Um, you need to push there. You axes, though. Down you come. You axes. Charge them. You axes. Charge them. There. That should work. Let's be a little bit quicker about it. These boys are being rained on. The spear guards break. That'll be thoroughly disappointing, but I think they're going to. Come on, boys. Run, 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 run. Don't worry about formations. Don't worry about cleverness or anything else. Just charge. Come on, sabers. You can do better than that. Scale the walls, indeed. How are we over here? Uh, you're doing a great job. Come open this. Go, 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 go. Open the gate. Just want that gate open, then we can go get Jung Fei and people back on his horse. Uh, you are now coming up. The axes are coming in here. The spears are coming in here. It's all good. You guys are chasing them. You too. I would like you to advance this way. Up here, if you don't mind. Yes, of course we have. Of course we have. You boys, take the other flank. Come on, charge in here. See if you can deal with them. After that, we'll be able to let our soldiers in. You've taken this, great. Go get your horse. You boys, in you come. You as well. Go get your pony. You, you. Let's go. Archer, Archer. Uh, let's go. Go, 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 go. Horses are going to come in and absolutely smash them. Uh, these guys don't stand any chance whatsoever. Over here. How are we doing? Charge. Come on. Deal with them. You boys. Let's get this gate open now. Let's get this gate open. Are you actually fighting? Let's slow this up. 
you sort of are. I mean, it's spear against spear, so it's going to be a little bit slow going. You guys are all sitting there waiting. Get this gate open. Take out these wooden stakes, hopefully, just a little bit while we're there. That would be quite nice. If we could. Uh, sorry, not you guys. You guys. If you could take out the wooden stakes while you're there, that would be quite nice, because I want my cavalry to ride through there. Uh, you guys still haven't reached your horses yet. Fair enough. Our horses have reached them, though. That's good going. You and you, you're very tired, we know. Uh, but, uh, go. Go for the centre. Um, you are on your horse. That's what I want to see. Shaken. Taking a tiny bit of damage. You shouldn't be that shaken. Yes, it is. There we go. In you come. Grand Faye's going to take a minute. Okay. I've taken that. How are these spikes? Non-existent. Uh, they look very existent to me. I don't like the look of that. Did we actually destroy them? No, we did. Absolutely cock all to them. Okay, so our cavalry is going to struggle there. Why are they running? They shouldn't be running. Get up here. Right, you're in here. You boys, you've crushed them. Spin this round. Alright, they've got cavalry coming. So. Um, spear, spear. Up here. Axe. Just wait. You axes. This way. One, two, three. In you come. If you lose horses, you lose horses. We're not going to commit our heavy infantry. We're going to wait a little bit longer for the cavalry. Zhang Fei, have you found your horse? You have. Excellent job. In you come. Deal with them. That's how that's going to work. So he's going to come in there. Right. Cavalry. Cavalry. We charge forward. Infantry, infantry. Um, yeah. Right, I want one of you here. I want one of you here. Uh, you, my man, you can advance up here because you give passive bonuses to no one who can make use of them whilst we're there. Charge. Charge. Okay. Let me move over there. Right. You three. And Liu Bei. I want you into these spears. Axes. Go deal with them. You chaps. In you come. Right. Smashing them up. Over here. We've caught them. Come on, in you go. Get in here. Let's kill some people. You've had a good day of claiming towers, but that's not what you're for. You're a killer. Get in and kill. And uh, he's really tired because he scaled the wall, which isn't helping things. Actually, no, he's not. He's fresh. Fresh. Wow. They were very tired not that long ago. I guess because they're on the horses now. Um. Yeah. This saber cav is pretty solid, but it's not going to survive when he comes in and starts waggling his spear, they are going to go down. In we go. Waggle the spear. There he is, just behind Liu Bei's flag. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a slaughter. They're not going to hold. Here we are over here. Let's have some of this. Let's have some of this. Excellent job. You boys, uh, advance. Axis, you are advancing. You guys must be really tired, though. You've seen them off. Back you come. No mucking about. You chaps, advance. Go, 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 go. Top speed. Right, all of you. Let's go. Move, move, move. All of you. Let's go. Maybe not you. Maybe you can sort of stand here. Just guarantee that is ours. 
Rush them. This is the end game. Finish them off. You boys. Go take that. There we go. Speed it up. In we charge. What do they have here? G Infantry Captain. Okay. There are no slouches, actually. There are no slouches. In comes. Bang! Liu Bei and Zhang Fei straight in amongst them. Time for the waggle of death. Uh, unimpressive. There we go. Spin a Rooney. Um, flames. And they should shatter real soon. More cavalry coming in. They've broken. Who's left? Just those archers. They've broken. Game over. <coughs> Good. Decisive victory. Didn't have to use uh, any of our heavy troops. One of my archer units ran away, but that's fine. We lost a few axes. We lost a few spears. To be expected. To be expected. Do like axes, though. Have missed them. Excellent job. 700 men lost. Not bad. Occupy. Fantastic. Good amount of money as well. Um, you... I mean, yee archers are nice, but they're just not not worth that much. Um, yeah, they all do. Here. We want more cavalry for you. We want to spin you off. Uh, which means... You can go out. Prute. Fan Mu. Potentially, Fan Mu, right? Ah, uh, where is he? Here he is, Fan Mu. I'll click on him because I haven't got enough money. Go sell something for a little bit of money just so I can click on him and just check to see if he's exactly what I want. An aggression pack. Bong Zhu. Not gonna sell that. Zhang Yang though. You're friends with my friends. Uh, regular payments. What am I doing? I don't want regular payments. I want money. Hard cash right now. A few hundred will do the trick. Ooh, so close. I'm going to try and get the maximum out of this one. There we go. 480. Job done. Excellent. Thank you very much for the money. Uh, now, Zhang Wen, we've discussed before, but Fan Mu. He was with Young Fan. He's got crap conning. No, he's shit. He's absolute pants. Anyway, we've got a little bit of extra money. It's fine. Uh, this place has been taken. We can think about having you go into. Uh, industry commerce. No, Shappy is peasantry. Donghai is not the one here. Um, there you go. Peasantry boost. Now, Jam, we're going to put into uh, Guan Yu's forces later. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is where I'm going to leave it for today. The war has begun. We're going to advance to La and just finish that off. Um, create three armies to head north. The brothers are going on a trip. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.